Teresa, welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me here today. Today we're going to be looking at how we can take prints and clean off papers like these that I'm not overly happy with. I mean these, as you can say, this is where I've cleaned my brayer, I've cleaned some foam stamps on here, this piece of paper where I've just cleaned off my brayer. This was a layered print, not happy with the white that I put on the top. This was where I was practicing with some um, like image transfer. These couple of sort of layered stencil prints that have gone a little bit muddy. This one's not too bad. This one went a little bit dark for my liking. So these are things that I haven't really found a use for because I'm not overly happy with the finished results or in these cases they were just sort of clean off scrap paper. I'm going to show you rather than throwing them away or, or just sort of consigning them to a drawer, how you can just take these out, print on top and hopefully come out with something that you're more satisfied with at the end of it. Nothing's ever really wasted in gel printing. So what we're hoping to be able to do is turn prints like these into prints like these. So let's get these cleared out of the way and I'll be back to show you how it's done. As always, I'll begin with a quick rundown of the items I'm using today. Today I've got my larger gel plate. This is my 8 by 10 inch Jelly Art gel printing plate. Just using this larger size because the papers that I'm going to be printing over are a larger size. And as I showed you briefly at the beginning, these are just some clean off papers and old sort of prints that I wasn't overly happy with the finished effect. And we're going to see if we can't improve that. I have a brayer, this is my speedball rubber brayer, I have some acrylic paints and I've chosen some sort of dual toned ones today. So we have Deco Art Americana paint in desert turquoise, magenta, bright orange and we have a Deco Art crafters acrylic in citrus green. I've also popped out a metallic and I've chosen the Dazzling Metallics Bright Copper just in case I want a bit of sparkle and shine and I've got um, the Decoart Americana Lamp Black as well which I may or may not use. I've brought out a couple of stencils. The stencils that I'm using today are from PM Artist Studio. Um, I will link in the end card and up in the corner to a previous video that I did using their stencils. Um, and they have very kindly given me a discount code to share with you that will get you 10% off any stencil order from their shop by the end of the year. I'll link all that in the de description below. So if you want to go and take a look at some of their stencils and make a saving, then by all means do go ahead and do that when you've watched the video. So I've got this large um, 8x10 stencil and this is called Jelly Shelly. Here you can see there, Jelly Shelly. Um, thought that was a nice, just sort of all over good design, really, really nice. And to go with that, I have this set here, which is Flowers and Urchins. And you can see on the picture here what we've got. These look like sea urchins and these sort of abstract flowers. And there are different shapes and sizes in this set. And again, just thought that they might work well for building up some layers. So that's the stencils that I'm going to be using today. I have, as always, paper towel, some water in a spray bottle for cleaning. And I think that's about it. Um, obviously, we'll wait and see what, what prints that we can create. You always have the option then of going in with things like a Posca paint pen at the end for added detail if you need to do that. But let's just see if we can't improve on these, these pieces of paper that are otherwise going to go to waste. So let's begin by getting some paint down on our plate.
pop this large stencil down. I'm going to take this print here. And these are all just prints on random different weights of paper. I mean, the clean off prints are just on normal printer paper, like copier paper. And these others tend to be on slightly heavier weight paper. There we go. That's added some interest on there. We can take our stencil off. I still have some paint down on the plate. Let's let that dry and put another layer on top of that. And then we can print onto another one of our pile of prints that we've got at the side. Let's take this clean off print here. And that's added some all over pattern. We've got a little bit of shimmer and shine on there. Still got some paint left on my plate. So again, I think I'm not going to let that go to waste. I'm going to pop a little orange. Just I think on this one section where most of my pattern still is. Take this print. And again, added a bit more colour, a bit of layering on there. And I'm going to clean my plate off at this point. I'm going to choose a bit more paint again. Same stencil once again. Let's take this print this time. Love this pattern, really nice. And let's see what we can do direct from this place.
And again, let's just see what we can clean off. Just adding a little bit extra down that side. So let's try with some of the other stencils. This time I'm just going to put the green on. use these round urchin shapes. I'm also going to put a couple of the flowers to fill in the space. Let's take this print Again, adding more depth, more layers. And I'm not sure whether this is going to be bright enough paint to be able to see much, but let's just pop another layer on another print. So it's added some more colour, the details not come out that clear, I didn't expect it to because that green's very pale, quite translucent in a thin layer. So now let's try something a little more dramatic. Again, I'm going to put these same stencils back down. Let's take something that's got some bright colours in it. And we've created some bold, colourful silhouettes. Let's see what we can get by trying to pull up the residual paint off the plate.
And I uh, really like that. Actually quite a nice sort of slightly muted sort of almost shadowy effect with that one. I'm going to remove this. You could use that paint, but I find with sort of the residual bits of black as it fades, it starts to become less distinct and just sort of adds more of a dark cast onto your print rather than anything with any clear definition. So sometimes better to just clear that out of the way and start with a new coat of paint.
So here are the prints we've ended up with and I've pulled out a few paint pens. I've got some of them a Posca paint pen um, brand. I don't have a white Posca pen at the moment so this is a, a loop acrylic marker and I've also got my Uniball Signo white gel pen. But there's a couple of prints that I really love as they are and I'm going to leave them and there's a couple that I'm going to add a bit of detail in with the paint pens. Now this one I really love, um, the silhouette, really nice, the bright colours in the background, the very sort of neon effect there, very happy with that. The same with this one here, Pretty. I'm pretty sure I'm going to leave this one as it is. I love the fact that there's a lot of layering and patterning showing through, a little more subtle colours on that one. I'm definitely going to add a little detail to this. I really like the effect that I've got. It's quite dark and moody. The same with this one, but again, might just add a little bit of detail in there. This one, I actually quite like it. It's quite an indistinct top layer that's on there, but I just love the general all over patterning and, and the way that the colors sort of fade in an ombre effect. So I'm thinking I'm just going to leave that one and that's going to be perfect just as a background for some future project. This one here, I'm going to add some detailing with a paint pen as well. And this, which was my final one, just cleaning my plate off with another, it was actually the this, this scrap of paper that I'd pulled to one side for cleaning my brayer today. I actually quite like that as it is, so I'm probably going to leave that. Um, that was just a bonus one. So I'm just going to work um, adding a few details with the paint pens, and then I'll be back to show you these finished ones at the end. Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. Pack our bags and get in that car. real far let's get out we can leave this city let's drive to the open air yeah the countryside is so pretty with the wind blowing in your hair we can look back someday this point so we've got this lovely silhouette I've just gone around and trimmed everything as well now that I've finished and it just sort of sets it off so we've got these beautiful bright sort of neon silhouettes 
This one here where I used some coloured paint pens just to sort of highlight the design, a few white dots. Really like that, how they sort of blend in with the colours in the background. This one here, I use the contrast of the turquoise, and I think it really lifts the design and gives it almost a 3D effect. This was our bonus one where I just cleared off that plate for the last time, but I quite like that. It's quite a nice sort of ghostly background, nice soft colours in there. This one here where I just love the layers, the ombre effect. Um, it just, I don't know, a really nice sort of underwater effect um, that we created there. Another one of these lovely silhouettes. This one, this time the colour's a little more new, muted, not quite so neon. And the last one that you saw me doing, where I used the fine gel pen and I just sort of kind of doodled all over the stencil design. And it's almost like a tribal type Aboriginal art um, finish, I think, on that one. So I hope you were inspired to dig out some of those uh, less successful prints, some of your clean-up papers, and, and are inspired to just have another go, um, printing more layers on top, adding some freehand work at the end as well just to see what you can create that you really have nothing to lose if you weren't happy with the print in the first place the worst that can happen is you're still not happy with it um, but I, I'm really sort of pleased with what I've managed to achieve with these other papers that were just sort of sitting around so as always, um, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Do check out the link below to PM Artist Studio and take advantage of the 10% off stencil purchase coupon code um, if you want to buy something. But for now, that's all. Bye. With the wind blowing in.